Okay, uh, so one of the topics which is very important for us is inverse function theorem. This inverse function theorem is a very interesting uh, theorem. It says that if f is a differentiable and invertible, well, that means that uh, it is you can differentiate it, but invertibility means that f inverse x uh, exists. Yes, so there is a function, the inverse of f. Then we can use the derivative of f, inver uh, f to find derivatives of f inverse. Then f inverse is differentiable everywhere that there is a there is a condition there i will get back to it there's a technical condition you will notice that's not a difficult thing but uh, the value of the derivative so derivative of f inverse that's a different function we want to find the derivative at a given point this is one over derivative of f prime if one says that derivative of f prime is what you need to put there it derivative of f prime f prime just writing f prime doesn't make sense you should say evaluate it where if you put x there you have made a big mistake that's not the right answer uh, the right thing is that you find the derivative of f evaluate it at f inverse of x then inverse it that is the derivative of f inverse so the condition now you can see easily that uh, is differentiable everywhere that we have a denominator here we have to make sure that the denominator is non-zero so that's the technical condition that you need to add there so we want to make sure that this guy is not zero. If that guy is zero, then F inverse prime is, does not make sense. So the, the F inverse is not differentiable at a point that this guy is zero. And obviously the formula also says the same thing. One over zero doesn't make sense. Okay, so we will do some examples for this. Key fact is that is that formula. Derivative of M F inverse at a point is equal to one over F prime evaluated where? Evaluated at F inverse of X. That's the formula you have to always use. Well, let's do some examples that are given here. So there are some information. So f at a six is two, f prime at six is one over three, find value of the derivative of f inverse at two. You see derivative of f inverse, you write down the inverse function formula or the theorem, the formula that the theorem gives us. One over F prime at F inverse of two. Now, I need to know what is F inverse, F inverse of Two. So this is something that I have to first figure out. You see, when you have f at six is equal to two, remember, it means that f sends six to two. Then you know that f inverse goes the other way around. The f inverse will send two to six. In other words, uh, f inverse at two 
is going to be equal to six. So this is one over f prime. I already found that, put it there, f prime at six. f prime at six is one over three. So I have one over one over three. Well, if you simplify that, you get three for that. Again, first thing is that put down the, the formula, write down the formula and then go from there. For the second one, f inverse prime at zero. This is what we are trying to find. The theorem says that this is equal to f prime. Evaluate it at f inverse at x. While x in this case, by the way, is zero. Okay, so what is f inverse of uh, zero? I know that f one is zero. It means that f sends one to zero or assign zero to one. And from that, I can conclude that f inverse at zero or f inverse will send one to a zero to one. It will reverse the assignment. Instead of assigning zero to one, it will assign one to zero. So that's other way of saying that f inverse of zero is one. So it is one over f prime at one. And f prime at one is given, it is negative. So in, in all these cases, you see that starting with the formula for the inverse function is what you need to do. 